Hola bonitas, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a shop with me at Sephora, but not just any Sephora. The American Dream Mall in New Jersey. If you haven't heard of it, it's literally like the Mall of America, but newer and cooler. So vamos para adentro. I'm gonna show you guys what they have at Sephora, all the new new, and we're gonna do a little haul. So vamos. Bonitas, we are walking towards Sephora. I'm so excited. I always love discovering new Sephoras in different cities. So, vamos a ver. Got my little basket. Okay, Bonita, so I'm gonna voice over this because there was music playing and I didn't want that in the background, but we're first starting off with the House Labs blushes. They were really nice, but they were a little too glossy for my taste. Um, I also went to check out the new NARS products. I saw Magdalene talk about them and I was like, oof, let me see. They look really pretty. I may need to get that eyeshadow palette, but now we're going to go into the Armani Luminous Look blushes. I was really intrigued because I saw Sabrina Carpenter wear them, but that pink was just way too much for me. Um, we're also looking at Givenchy. They have some really luxurious products and Bonitas, the blushes are coming in hot right now like i was swatching so many blushes here the hourglass blushes are really nice the formula is stunning somebody here gave me a compliment on my thrifted dress and it made my day um but um, i'm also seeing that they have the new makeup forever blushes and um, lip products and they were super pretty but i just could not get myself to get another one i'm like i have way too many lip products okay let's talk about this peace out mist i've talked about this in a youtube video it's super good i need to talk about it more because it's great for redness and also oily skin topicals i was looking for a new lip balm and i'm kind of mad at myself for not purchasing it but i'll go back next time and get it okay now i swatch all the huda beauty blushes i was obsessed i'm checking out but okay, it's time to go hey bonitas we secured la bolsa now let's do a little haul i didn't buy too much but there are some really good blushes so we got a lot of blushes here let me show you what i got in me bolsita so I'm actually right now in New Jersey visiting family, which is why we got the chance to go to the American Dream Mall because it's super close to where they live. So I was like, okay, let's do this. So first thing I got were some little travel size makeup wipes because I needed some for this trip. I actually am going to probably need to buy some more because I should have bought another pack because I'm going to be going to LA very, very soon. So I should have bought some extra ones for my LA trip. It's okay. These are the hydrating cleansing wipes and these are just really nice. And they were like on the um, beauty on the fly, like right when you're about to check out and you pay, you get the wipe. So I got some wipes because that reminded me that I needed some. My receipt, which is crazy. I didn't even get that much stuff, but I spent like $136. I'm like, oh, okay. But I'm gonna be reviewing all these items. So I'm definitely very excited. So the first thing that I, wanted to share with you guys is this new way hair and body mist i love 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 way products like one of my favorite products for my wavy hair is their curl cream and their wave spray and i actually really do love the um way um saint bart's body cream i have the travel size one with me right now and so they came out with the St. Bart's like body mist for the summer and this smells so delicious. It's such a fresh, beautiful, beachy scent. It kind of reminds me of the beach scent from, um, what is it, Replica, Mason Margiela. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Also, if you like the way St. Bart's body cream, you're going to love this scent. It's really good. I think it's the perfect summertime scent. I also wanted to get it because I want to review this for my short form content. You guys know, if you guys watch me on short form content, I've been really enjoying my fragrance reviews. I am very much in my fragrance era and this is definitely one that I was like, ooh, we need to talk about this. So this one it does retail for $28, but really nice and here you get 3.3 ounces so pretty good you can take this on the go okay next up um i did pick up one of the armani luminous silk cheek tints and i decided to go in with this color it was the last one of it this one is in the shade 65 intense berry and the reason i got this is because i feel like now okay i know we're in july but before we know it I'm just saying fall is going to creep up on us. So I was like, I need some really pretty fall time blushes. So I wanted to pick up this shade and I'm going to swatch it right here. Para ustedes. Like, look how pretty that is. That is so pretty. Such a pretty shade. Very, very pretty. So I was like, I want to try this out. I want to see how this looks. So 
I have it right there. And these are the luminous silk blushes. So it has that same like luminous silk um, consistency and formula that the luminous silk foundation has just a very very lightweight breathable natural formula um then you start to blend it in and you kind of get that really pretty tint of berry as you blend it in it doesn't look as intense it starts to kind of blend into a really pretty like just very natural berry tint i would say with this less is more obviously i did that for the swatch but once you blend it in you can see it really diffuses into a very very pretty just wearable berry tone. Sometimes berries, they can kind of scare me a little bit because sometimes they can pull a little too purpley on my face. So I feel like this, it just pulls really nicely onto the complexion. It also blends very easily. So with these, definitely less is more type of vibes. But I did swatch the one that Sabrina Carpenter wore and I was like, that's way too much for me. Okay, so this trip, I got a lot of blushes. Like I literally got three blushes. That was the main thing that intrigued me on this trip. There are so many new blushes and I actually was thinking about getting the House Labs blush, but something about it just looked way too glossy for me. And I have oily skin. And in the summer I like to use products that are just going to blend very easily into the skin. So I was like, let me pass on that one for now. So I didn't get that one. But the next one that I did pick up is the Hourglass Unreal Liquid Blush. I think these recently came out because they have them fully stocked in there. I was a little bit confused by their packaging because their packaging is, you know, is a little different. So it looks like that. This is another berry blush. I'm telling you guys, I'm, I'm prepping for the fall time with the berries. And it looks like this and then you just squeeze it here and you get the color. But the formula, look at that formula. It's a very liquidy consistency formula. Very, very pretty stuff. Like you do not need a lot of this. Like a little bit of this goes a long way. Like I said, I'm in my berry era, another berry tone blush. This consistency though, feels good. Super wearable, easy to blend. Look at that pigmentation. Like. It's just really nice. So for me personally, that was definitely a color that I, I like them both a lot, but that was just really nice. And this obviously is very like unique packaging. So just keep in mind that with this specific packaging, you want to make sure that you go in with a little bit, not a lot. And then when you blend it out, you want to be very light with it because I feel like this can, this could be a messy situation if you do not like blend it very very quickly and also blend it with a brush so that is the hourglass blush then i went ahead and got one of the new huda beauty blush filters and this one is a liquid blush in the shade strawberry cream this color looks so pretty and i actually want to do a um like a first impression on this because i haven't tried these or seen them so this is my first time seeing them in store and i was so excited so they look like that and then you open them and it looks like this these have like a juicy scent this one i like this like pinky tone i think this was super pretty and i don't feel like i have anything like this in my collection and i typically like these type of pinky tones on me i feel like these like good look good with my complexion so i was like yeah this is something that i i would really really like i feel like this specific formula though is a little sticky a little bit more creamy and a little bit more with like a little bit of some shine in there it's not like a matte formula in my opinion but um it looks it looks pretty it says lightweight melt on the skin soft focus finish it looks nice that's a good thing about liquid blushes they're customizable so obviously go in with less if you want you know a more subtle type of finish you do not need a lot to you know really work in the color but there's some great, great options in there. I'm excited to be doing a more in-depth review on them on my short form content for all the blushes. I'm telling you guys, there were so many new blushes in Sephora. There were some from Anastasia Beverly Hills. They were these, they were the, the House Labs one. Like I was just like, oh my gosh, there's blush everywhere. Another new blush formula that I saw was the Makeup by Mario. And the Makeup by Mario one was nice but i'm like i already have so many of those i do not need any more um i also saw he came out with his lip shines which 
love those too but i'm like i'm trying to be very selective on what i purchase because i'm like there's just too many things that i'm not trying to oversaturate my space because my whole little filming space isn't that big so i'm like i don't need to like have an overflow of stuff i'm trying to think smarter not harder when it comes to how i'm organizing all my products um and then they did give me this little sample they gave me a little keels ultra facial cream which actually comes in handy love this for me i'm gonna take this on my next trip i'll maybe even use it tonight when i wash my face because my skin has been a little dry i'm not sure why hopefully being out in this heat kind of add a little bit more of that oil and hydration to my skin naturally but this morning when i woke up my skin was feeling dry so we shall see about that but that's pretty much my haul i didn't pick up that many items but as you guys can see those things do add up so i'm like ooh. something i was eyeing that i didn't purchase and i kind of regret not purchasing is the topicals um lip balm i've heard amazing things about it so i was like hmm maybe i need to go ahead and check it out because i've heard amazing things about it and i want to see if it's really that good and i i've been honestly looking for just a clear lip balm a lot of my lip balms are tinted so yeah i'm kind of like hmm should i go back to my sephora when i go back home and get it we shall see that's pretty much my little sephora haul from the american dream mall i wanted to quickly do a shop with me and haul of the items that they have there i feel like it's always so fun to go to sephora's in different cities um and kind of like see what they have because i feel like especially at these really big malls they have some really cool stuff in there so i wanted to see what all they had and also there were some products that i've been really curious about but i just haven't had the chance to go check out so this was a perfect time for me to check these things out so that's pretty much it if you guys are watching my my shop with me's and hauls to different beauty stores different stores in general please give this video a big thumbs up let's you know continue doing them the last one that i did was at ulta so now this one i was like i have to do one at sephora and what better time to do it now when i go to the american dream mall so i had to bring this for you guys but um let me know what other shop with me you would want to see maybe target maybe marshall's tj maxx the gun made down below in the comment section i love interacting with you guys so thank you guys so much for watching give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it and i I think that's pretty much it so i hope that you guys have a fabulous day don't forget to stay safe stay blessed and stay beautiful y nos vemos pronto adios bonita